<laughs> Before we go on, who's familiar with Zoom? Do you want to put your wee a hat Reasonably. <laughs> Reasonably. <Kinda>. Right. Wonderful. Because <laughs> I like to do a bit of a recce yes. to see um, how familiar we are with it. You know, if you go up to, and who, everybody's on their laptop. Yeah, nobody's on their phone. Mm -hmm. Right, that's wonderful. Um, if you, oh, Di Di oh, Diana, you on your phone? I'm on my phone, yeah. All oh, right, okay, okay. So the reason I'm asking is that the the navigation can be different. Right. Um, so what I was going to say that when you're on your desktop version, if you go up, you can see a speaker view or a gallery view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you click on that, then that will change what you see. So if you want to see everybody, we'll then you click that to see um, gallery view. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So just, I say that, Morag, because you were like, oh, I can't see. Yes, I, I still had it in the other view, and when I slid yes. along, she was there. I hadn't realised she'd come in because she'd been quiet. Um, <laughs> I a crazy little thing that I found out a number of weeks ago is if you are a little bit self-conscious and you don't like seeing yourself, because Zoom is a little bit weird, isn't it, when you've got to see yourself for like a whole hour? There's three little dots in the top right of your picture and everybody else's picture. So yeah. you to hide self view and then you can see everybody else and you don't see yourself. Mm -hmm. So that. Can I ask a question please? Of course. It's only supposed to be for, say 40 minutes. If I'm in this meeting for an hour, does it, my, does I still, do I still carry on? Is it... So this is on my Zoom account That's and fine. I've got a paid version. Okay. So because mine's a paid version, we can be here for hours on end. All right, that's what I just <laughs> want. She's ready at half seven. I'm going to go at half seven. I'm not going to keep you. They're not kicking us out, uh, Muriel. You're okay. You're okay. Thank you. Um, so that was just a little brief tour. Everybody's audio is working. We can hear each other. Mm -hmm. So that's great. We're smooth running. Often when I start and meet new people, there's kind of issues with audio and videos don't work. So this is wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yay. Just so you know, this has been recorded. Okay. And what's going to happen afterwards is I'm going to download it and I'm going to send it off to Alistair, which means that it can be used as a bit of an evergreen resource. Um, mm -hmm. However useful that is, because this is more of a workshop than a presentation, so it might not be all that interesting to listen to. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But that's what we're going to do, just um, so we can get um, serve more people, really. So I hope you're okay with that. Um, so before we go on, could I kind of um, get to know you all a wee bit? Because I've never met you before. Um, so the whole point of Happy Mind is we're going to be together for the next five Tuesdays, half past six to half past seven. It's part of the Wellbeing Festival. So this programme is all about, as the name suggests, being happy in your mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. So today we're focusing on the power of appreciation. Mm -hmm. Next week we're going into beliefs of brilliance and storytelling, which is really, in well, it's interesting for me. I love all mm -hmm. that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we are, what's it called? It's called Create and Clarify, but tapping into your creative genius is the next one. Sorry. Then the Tuesday after that is getting out of overwhelm and making good things happen. So that's all about creation and doing it. And then the last one is de-stressing and energising. And that's when you've got more than me. And I've got a wonderful friend and colleague coming along, Eleanor Pratt. And she's a yoga instructor. And she's going to come along and do a body clock flow which is something you can do seated standing up and it's just a real relaxing, energizing kind of thing which really links into that module, which is all mm -hmm. a little bit energy. So I hope you join us. Um, 
or join me for all of these workshops over the next five weeks. That would be absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful. So, <clears throat> you know me now. I'm Colette. I've been, I, my job is a life coach. So I work with people to help them reassess their life, ask really juicy questions and just encourage people to press pause mm -hmm. because the power of the pause is amazing. So many of us are just busy. And when we're busy and on the rat race, um, we're just all part of our own problem. So when we pause and slow down and get mm -hmm. curious, then that can be really, really helpful. So that's the job of a life coach. That's my job. So if you can imagine, this is a big imaginary ball. Mm -hmm. and it can go big, it can be, go small, small, big. Um, I'm going to throw it at one of you. And then what I would love to do is for you to catch it. And remember, this is an imaginary ball. So it might turn into something completely different. Mid-air, mm -hmm. it might grow massive, it might grow small, it might mm -hmm. turn into something other than a ball. Who knows? So I'm going to throw it, and when you catch it, if you could just say your name and tell me one thing that's happened today that's brought a smile to your face. And then once you've shared that, then find somebody else and throw this ball or whatever it is over to them and they'll catch it whatever it's turned into and again your name and something that's made you smile today and on we go is that okay so for me my name is Colette and the thing that made me smile today is the builders leaving <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right I am going to go for Muriel, there you go. I had a lovely day today. My name is Muriel. I don't know who I am. I'm still trying to find that out. Um, <laughs> I've written a few books. And today I met a friend who really um, was fun. We, we sat and had chat and tea and coffee. And then I spent a lot of money at Little. And that was my day. I ran away for the day. And it was so good. And then my neighbour, when I came back next door, she said, you look good. You're dressed properly. <laughs> Don't know what she thought I was dressed like before. <laughs> I must be a sight. I, I must have been looking good. So there you go. That was me. I was looking good. For the That's first funny. time in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair, I'm throwing the ball to you. Got it. <laughs> there we go that's me off mute um that was so you didn't hear me chomping my nuts and raisins because that's a good thing that's happened thank to me. you uh, <laughs> no, what, the, the good thing that's happened to me today is uh, our friend bill marwick um was out for his i, I think he was just walking today and he rang the doorbell and uh, went to the top of the path and we socially distanced and had a right good natter. And for those, those of you who know Bill and I, when we get together, we like nothing better than a right good moan. And the two of us had a right good moan about Donald Trump. And um, we also talked about the state of um, the healthcare system in America. Um, and uh, so the two of us had a right good moan and by the end of it that cheered us both up there's nothing better than a good moan so I, I will now throw the ball and uh, at the moment all I'm seeing is the top of this gentleman's head oh no he's back again um, so I'm going to throw the ball lock it here, here comes the ball to you okay <laughs> okay so so I'm lucky and the good thing that happened to me was I managed to mow down my lawn today. Love that. Love it, love it. Yeah. You're a handy mm -hmm. man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Take a note. <laughs> <laughs> note to self, note to self. Lucky, could you, Lucky, sorry, could you throw the ball? Okay, I'll throw it to Morag. Thanks, Lucky. You're I'm welcome. glad to get that. Well, my day today had been to say the least of it, busy. And I walked out my study hot, frazzled, hungry, 
and was greeted with the love of my life, and he just gave me a great big hug, and that made the whole oh, day worthwhile. That's nice. nice. <laughs> that's beautiful. And this is more a reflection on me, probably, than anybody else, but who or what is your love of your life? Because for me, what came up was my dogs. <laughs> The love of my life is the second person that I have lived with um. that I found on my 60th birthday by total accident. He is the exact opposite of me in every way, starting with he is tall, slim and gorgeous, right? <laughs> and we've now been together the better part of nine years and there isn't a day goes by that I don't feel loved and cherished. Oh, my cockles have been warmed. I am glad I have warmed your cockles. I will not proceed with that conversation. Why don't I, Father? I will quickly throw them all to Diane. Oh, hi. Did you catch that, Mrs? I did. It was my best throw. Um, I'm Diane. Um, and I'm really ashamed because I've had what would be the equivalent of a duvet day today because I've decided that I've had enough of all this lockdown stuff and I'm just going to pig out on the sofa. Um, and I watched a Bob Hope film today, so that made me smile. That's that me. sounds like a wonderful day. There is no shame in that. <laughs> that sounds fab. Diane, could you throw the ball back to me? Oh, throw it. Yay! <laughs> Super duper. Thank you very much for that. That was really good. Um, so today is, it's all about appreciation and it's little things like that of training our mind to focus on the things that are supporting us and the things that are going well. Because I know like Alistair, I love a good moan as well. It's really therapeutic. <laughs> really. <laughs> And it's also important to focus on the things that are working because often when we get into that kind of vibe of noticing all the things that are problematic in the world, in our lives, all the things we don't like about ourselves, then that's not very good for our well-being. So that's why it's really important to appreciate the power of appreciation, which is what we're doing today. So... Um, who's familiar with positive psychology? Have you heard of the term? Is she? Is she? Is she? Is she? Mm -hmm. So it's been about for a number of years, we're probably about 15 years or something, maybe a wee bit longer now. So in the grand scheme of things, it's still pretty new. Um, and the reason that was born was psychologists began to notice that all the studies of humanity and how we work as people focused on what didn't work and what was what was broken so we've got this big book of mental illness and it helps to lift us from not well to neutral so you work with your doctor and you work with a psychiatrist and you work with whoever you need to work with to help you move from not well to neutral but then there wasn't a, how do you have a good experience of life? So it brought you from depressed to not depressed. It didn't bring you to thriving. Mm -hmm. so positive psychology was born from the curiosity of, well, how do we thrive as humans? How can we live an optimal experience? So over this relatively brief period of time, there's been loads and loads of research around that. So how can we actually live a good life? and live a pleasant life. So all of the Happy Mind programme is based on positive psychology research and things like that. And what I would like to introduce you to is something really, really common that the likelihood is you already do it, but it's a wonderful thing to do and create a habit around. And it's being or spotting the three things that we're grateful for. So research shows that when on a daily basis, we acknowledge and savour and notice three things, just three, that actually makes our life easier, nicer, more pleasant, then that's good for our well-being. 
So I'm going to share a wee bit more about what that well-being means and why that's important. But before I do that, what I'd like you to do is I'm going to break you into breakout rooms so you can pair up. Oh, that means somebody's going to be, oh, does somebody want to be paired with me? Is that okay? Or will we do a three and a two? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and what I want you to do is you share with the other person three things that you're grateful for. And then you listen to the other person and they'll share with you three things that they're also grateful for. And then we'll come back in the room and then we'll just have a wee brief share around of what that is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to send you off into breakout rooms. All you need to do is click the accept and that's grand. Um, and please don't worry at all if um, you can't think of anything because when you don't have a habit of this already, sometimes it can be really, really tough. Because I know years ago when I first started this, I was really, really upset because my son was only little at the time, beautiful boy, really healthy. I had my health, lovely relationship, no housing issues, nothing like that. And I was asked the question, remember a time when you felt really, really happy? And I couldn't think of anything. Not one thing. And looking back, I had, and I knew intellectually, I had so much to be grateful for. And if you looked at my life, you could, other people could spot it, but could I think of anything? Genuinely couldn't. And it, that's what started me on this journey of discovering all of that, because I realised that was not a healthy place to be in. So my invitation to you, when you go into your breakout rooms, don't worry. If you can't think of anything, that's absolutely fine. That's why we're doing this in pairs, because teamwork makes the dream work. So when somebody else is talking, that will trigger you to go, oh, actually, that's me. You know, I, I'm grateful that I've got a kettle that I can boil water and make myself a cup of tea. I'm grateful for the sunshine. I'm grateful, you know, there's lots of tiny little things. So we're only going to do this for maybe two minutes. So just think of your things, have a wee quick share, and then I'll get you back into the room. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. I shall see you in a few minutes. See you soon. Mm -hmm. There we go. Joy. We're back, just you and me. Mm -hmm. Who else? Not joined. Close all rooms. There we go. Da, da, da. They'll get a little warning and then they should. There's someone. Oh, there we go. There we go. They're coming there back. Oh, they're coming back. There oh. there. As if on demand, Diane's cat pops up. <laughs> I know it's lovely. Oh, what's your cat's name? This is Lucy. Oh, hi, Lucy. <laughs> now, I think oh. Alistair and Morag are really enjoying a good chin wag. They're not clicking mm -hmm. the button to come join us. Are we? Probably. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. They'll be forced to come back in 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> dear me, dear me. Love it. Three, two, one. Back in the room. As if by magic. Come on. There, there we go. go. I'm starting. <laughs> there you go. Coming back. Oh, we're coming back. Yay. Coming back. Yay. There we go. How did you find that, guys? 
Well, you, you, you you had to go and put me with more egg, didn't you? <laughs> Spent the day together. I just thought we were at a normal coffee or lunch break. <laughs> 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 and you've worked with someone for 28 years right? uh, Morik, Morik's collect you, you, everybody else knows I refer to Morik as my daytime wife oh, right, okay. um, mainly because she, she <laughs> nags me just as much as my nighttime wife does <laughs> what, what can I say <laughs> I said I wasn't too bad with gratitude I never said anything about nagging Mr McGee what <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go into patience. <laughs> so, did you guys get to? Did you identify three things that yes. you're grateful yes, for? Yes, Good yes, stuff. And how did it feel for everybody to actually just look there, look at the at the things that are supporting us in life? Mm -hmm. How did that feel? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. What? Diane, I think Diane's speaking. I can hear Diane in the background. Oh, it's not you. Oh, the cat's there. <laughs> the, the cat is feeling good. <laughs> my husband came and brought me a piece of pizza. That was my gratitude. That's <laughs> oh, oh, Muriel Connell. Oh, oh, that's just put. What was lovely, and I ate it as we were talking. Oh no, that's I could be stuffed with nuts. I hope you shared it, Muriel. <laughs> no, he, he's got the rest of it. I only got one wee bit. That's so <laughs> I've got to be grateful for something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, I think the guy that brought you as well, maybe. <laughs> I don't need any more. <laughs> we, we were grateful, Colette. The other week, we were grateful for the fact that Lockie is apparently a very, very good baker. And we had, mm. uh, yes, and we had a virtual, um, uh, he, he did some virtual baking for us. So virtually, mm -hmm. I enjoyed his baking. Mm -hmm. I am, however, Lockie, you do owe me a bit of cake when we actually... I think so. <laughs> okay. I like my cake. <laughs> Good. You've done a lot of baking in lockdown. I've effectively made it school. Oh, mm -hmm. we don't have any snacks. Let's do home economics. <laughs> mm, good idea. <laughs> Sorry, Colette. On you go. On you go. Well, the reason that we do that, as I was kind of alluding to earlier, is um, it's shown to be good for our well-being. But mm -hmm. what is well-being? Mm -hmm. And why, why do we talk about it, really? So I've got a particular take on it because my background is as a careers advisor. So I'm really all about helping people create things and create a life that they love. So I've got a bit of a, a creation skew on this. And the reason that having a, an appreciative habit is important and being a well-being is important mm -hmm. is it helps us be resourceful. And when we're mm -hmm. resourceful, it means that we've got access to all the amazing creative genius workshop mm -hmm. um, so we can make good things happen. So I'm going to geek out on you for a little minute and um, give you a little bit of brain science. Who, who here is familiar with the handy brain model? Has anybody heard of that? With, so that? The handy brain model, because it's your hand. So I would like to invite you to put your hand up like that and turn it into a fist with your thumb inside. So this is your brain. Da, da, da. It's quite groovy. So here it's a neuropsychologist called Dan Siegel that talks about the handy brain model. And this is what the power of appreciation unleashes. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So if you imagine your wrist here is your brain stem. So that's the first bit in your, in your mum's womb when you're turning into a baby. That's a bit, the first bit of becoming a human. And then the second bit, and your brainstem is responsible for, for your breathing and your heartbeat and that type mm -hmm. of automatic stuff. And then your thumb is your limbic system. Now your limbic system is also related to your emotional centre. Now, emotions are created all over your brain, so it's a generalisation, but that's your limbic system 
um, include your amygdala and your hippocampus, and they are two yes. really key areas. I call that your guard dog. Mm -hmm. Because when we are stressed, when we're worried, when we're scared, this bit gets hyperactive. Mm -hmm. so it's bubbling away there. So it's kind of like a guard dog barking. And then the last bit to form in our womb is this bit, and that's your cortex. Now here, this is your wise old owl. So it's hugging your thumb. It's hugging the guard dog. So the power of appreciation is really calming down our amygdala and calming down our mm -hmm. guard dog. And our wise old owl is really wise. And mm -hmm. when we train ourselves to listen to it, Mm -hmm. and we trust what's coming up, then that helps us create the life that we really want to. So that's our intuition, that's our wisdom. But to mm -hmm. listen to the wise old owl, we need to calm our guard dog. And having mm -hmm. a habit of appreciation, like the three gratitudes, helps keep our guard dog nice and calm, which means that we've got more access to listening to the wise old mm -hmm. owl. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So that when we are talking about well-being in the context of happy mind, that's all we're doing. So there's lots of us that have got a very sensitive limbic system, which means that we can be very sensitive to external things. Um, mm -hmm. and we can trigger really, really easily. Mm -hmm. But the wonderful thing about the brains is there it's called we call it neuroplasticity. So they can change. So when we create habits, then we get ourselves into that resourceful state, that nice calm state, which means we can spot opportunities that support us. So that's really what the power of appreciation is all about. The handy brain model in one. Um, anybody get any questions over that? Does that make sense? I didn't, I didn't geek out too far with the the science. I try to kind of simplify it and things. I was, Colette, I must admit, I was sitting watching every time you said the word owl, I was watching the cat um, to see, <laughs> see how, how she would react. He or she, I'm not sure, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> cat is now pausing. Yeah. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So, what um, we do with appreciation is we've got some, in, we need to appreciate what's going on in the inside. So we need to appreciate ourselves. And we also, it's useful to appreciate the world around us and all the things that are working well and supporting us. Especially now, because the world is bonkers. <laughs> it's really, really easy to just list. You know, the big list of all the things that are banana bonkers and wrong with the world is very, very long right now. So it's important that we balance that and we appreciate actually what's going on around us that is supporting us, that's working well, because we get more of what we focus on. So back to our brain, the back of our brain, there's a little bit of the back of our brain called our reticular activation system. Mm -hmm. Whatever we focus on, we tell our RAS to spot more things like that, which is why when you buy yourself a nice new white t-shirt with a sunshine on it or whatever, all of a sudden, you see lots of people wearing exactly the same mm -hmm. t-shirt because you've programmed mm -hmm. that part of your brain. Mm -hmm. Right now, in our world, we are doing a really good job of priming our brains to spot all the things that are wrong and to help us stay resourceful to actually make a change and make good things happen. We're not positioning ourselves in a very good place mm -hmm. because we're focusing on all the bad stuff, which is making our guard all go, oh, holy moly, I've got all these things to worry about, mm -hmm. which means we can't hear our own wisdom to say, right, okay, what can I actually do about this that's within my control? Mm -hmm. So when we flip the balance 
and start noticing what's actually supporting us, then we stay resourceful, which means we're far more likely to create the change and actually mm -hmm. develop the world and make it mm -hmm. the place that we want it to be in. Mm -hmm. So this exercise, have you got a pen? Mm -hmm. Have you got a bit of paper? Mm -hmm. Have you got your inner artist? No. <laughs> 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 no. Inner artistry is optional. So what I would like you to do <laughs> is um, draw a little picture. No. If you could draw the outline of you, now that shows the this the skill level that we're at here. <laughs> Complicated. I uh, feel free to draw a stick man, but what we're going to do is we're going to write inside it. So this is this is an outline of you. So imagine it's a gingerbread man. And you can create it as any shape you want it to. Best because, effort. <laughs> oh, you need to lift arm. it up. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> my arms. That is it. Oh, there. Honestly, you're all over it. some hair, right? But I love this smile, oh, Diane. <laughs> Is there a message there somewhere? <laughs> you get points for that. <laughs> <laughs> so what I would like you to do, and we're going to do this as an individual exercise just now, um, but if we struggle, we can do a bit of a brainstorm together. So outside of your body, here, I want you to have a little bit of a brainstorm about all the things in your environment, all the things in the world that are supporting you personally, supporting the people you love, and are actually working well. So what are the things that, that's good about our world just now? They're working well. What's that? Did you say they're working well just now? Working well. Yes. yes. So what's working well, what's beautiful, what's supporting you personally, what's supporting people you love, what's supporting our wider communities, our wider world. And just take a few moments and just write down as many things as you can. Give me a wee fright too. <laughs> Let's go for another 30 seconds and then we'll come back in.
There we go. Back in the room. How did you get on with that? So could you all just share maybe a couple of things um, that you have written down there as to what's supporting you outside what's working well? I'll, I'll go first, Colette. Uh -huh. uh, I'll say, butch my dog yep. and the internet. Um, I, I must admit, on the, on, the, on the internet front, the ability to uh, choose, as Diane has said today, having a duvet day, watching a film, or in my case, sitting watching a box set, um, that is how I do a brain dump. I, I like to be able to watch nonsense television and being able to do it on, with something that I choose to do at that moment, a programme or whatever that I choose to watch at that moment and suits my mood at that moment, I am very grateful the, the internet works. Yeah. With you. <laughs> I'll go next because I would add to yeah. that particularly with phone calls. As well as the, I had the internet too, particularly Google, because my dream when I was a wee girl was that when I wanted to know something, I didn't need to wait till the library opened. Oh, yes. And Google's done that anyway. So to add to Alistair's internet, I would see all the phone calls, which have reassured me at times I couldn't go and see them, that the family was good, my friends were good, the mutual support you get from that input by using all this technology. Poetry, songs, books. I have two lovely friends. He's a piper, she's a clarinet and whistle player and all sorts. And they actually did lockdown concerts. And it wasn't so much the music, it was the joy of seeing my friends' faces and listening to their banter. Yep. And the other thing for me has been out and about is the scenery round about me is absolutely wonderful. Uh -huh. but there's more birds. And every time I'm out, I meet my neighbours, I couldn't ask for kinder, nicer neighbours. And that's come out even more over lockdown. Yep. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Who's next? Um, hey. I put notes in nature yep. because I don't know if it was there before and I never noticed it or I've just, you know, it's just appeared because everybody's off the streets. But I think, I think it's great that there's a lot more of nature about us at the moment and it'll be sad if it goes back to the other way it was um yeah. and the other thing i think is community volunteers um yeah. and i think the way that people have stepped up to help other people is is just yeah sort of off the scale really if you stop to think about what people have have, have done to help other people it's quite heartwarming it really is it really mm. is yeah. And what about you, Loki? Well, some of the good things about me is that I've been able to do some Zoom meetings and talk to more people online and stuff. Yeah. And I've also been able to spend more time with my cat and more time just relaxing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Muriel, what have you got? I've been supported by my husband of all things because over the years we've lived two separate lives. Uh, for about 25 years he worked away and in this lockdown um, I put on about stone and weight because he's actually been cooking for me and uh, <laughs> it's been an absolute fun, it's been lovely, I've enjoyed every minute of it but the actual support of you know not expecting anything but just somehow providing the most lovely meal that you didn't expect and enjoying it and sitting down together as a couple, which I never had. And that's been good. And just the environment that we, we live in now. And I've also got, I'm not in a retirement village. And I'm glad about it because I've got young neighbours around me. And I'm free to be me. I'm free to be free who to I am. Yeah. So, that's a gift right there. Thank you very much, guys, for sharing. So we're going to move on to the inside of your gorgeous human. And what I would like to invite you to think about now is what you appreciate about yourself. Exactly. i seen your face there. <laughs> <laughs> We've 
we've done really well so far about you know being grateful for what's going on outside and noticing what's supporting us and what's working well so now you can do it what's working well in you what do you appreciate about yourself now think about I'll give you some clues <laughs> what about your skills so what can you do well what about your strengths? And now your strengths are like a skill, but they feel really good to do. So your skill, you can do it, but you might not, you know, might not particularly like doing it. But a strength is your natural way of being. So you love connecting with people, or you love problem solving, that can, whatever lifts you up in that way. Think about your qualities. Mm -hmm. So the thing people have reflected back to you. So it might be feedback that you've heard over the years. And it might be that, you know, as um, British people, we're very good at, you know, sliding it off and ignoring somebody giving us a compliment. But just reflect back to those compliments you've been given over the years. Might be that you've been told you're kind, generous, thoughtful. And it is not boastful to put any of this stuff in the middle. And if you think of the people that you really love and admire, and think about three things that you really love and admire about them, the three qualities. Now, the wonderful thing is that you can't spot that in somebody else if you've not got a representation of that in yourself already. So even if it feels a bit icky and a little bit self-indulgent, get it all down there. Yeah, self-indulgent is a good word, isn't it? You feel as if this is self-indulgent? Yep. But the wonderful thing about doing this is, again, it calms down our guard dog for us to be more present and be more useful to the people around us. And so often, as givers, as volunteers, we are always, you know, looking out for other people, but we're never actually filling our own bucket up. And this exercise helps us do that so we can be more present and be more useful for other people so it's the absolute opposite of being self-indulgent even although it feels like it just because we've been trained that way so let's come back in the room can we share one thing each that you've got in the middle what do you appreciate about being you I'm non-judgmental. I don't, I don't think I judge people. I don't try to put a, and I don't try to judge them in, in who they are or what they are and the choices. I, I, I think their choices are their choices. I don't see you. I, I had an experience today of that, that this friend I had and she was saying how she's been judged. I, I accept people for where they are at this moment, at their moment in time. Yeah. And I maybe expect that for me as well. Lovely. I've been very fortunate that since we've been physically split up, my friends and I have occasionally been contacting each other in the oddest of ways. And three of my friends have said something that made me think, maybe, it, maybe this is me, that I always want to encourage other people to follow their dream. Yeah. And... <laughs> To, li to listen to what they're saying and sometimes I seem to have the art of just at the right time saying the right thing yeah. which I hope and pray makes up for the 101 times that at the wrong time I say the wrong thing yeah. but I know that in me somewhere is this God-given ability to just get, occasionally get it right yeah. I love that Alistair what about you? 
I, I was I was waiting to go last just so mm. so you yeah, don't no, all start guffawing gaff- there. Um, I believe it or not, feel that I am becoming more tolerant, uh-huh. uh, and I um, thankfully I can't see. Uh, there's a shade just at the top of the screen here, so I can't see people's reaction to that one. Ba- basically, um, my older colleagues. Um, I have a huge, I love working with my older colleagues. Uh, my younger colleagues, I, um, particularly at the moment where you can't judge body language particularly easily. Um, you know, a lot of people are maybe sitting arms and tables or whatever. You're not seeing their body language. Um, I'm having to be a lot more tolerant um and um that uh, that's why i added becoming more because i feel i'm having to bite my tongue a lot more than i would normally um be that living in the house all the time you know my wife and i being stuck together for over a hundred days we are now i think in week 15 um that i find um, you know, we've got into a way of doing things. Muriel, unlike your husband, we don't make delicious meals. We've discovered Domino's um, and it's two for two right? night. Um, but, you know, when it, when it comes to just having to accept that we all are, are, are in a situation right now, that's why we're mm-hmm. becoming more tolerant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the wonderful thing is we're all in a state of becoming. That's being human. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Loki, what about you? What do you appreciate about yourself? I appreciate things like that I live in a nice place and I can do things like cook and I have lots of skills, I think. Good. And Diane, what about you? Uh, somebody that knew me very well some time ago told me that I had a good heart. And I'm not sure if I know what that really means, but I think it's quite a nice thing. And I hope that that's not something I've lost. Yeah. So I think I come, I think it it affects the way I look at things. I think I come from a good, hopefully I come from a good place. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And how did you find that? looking within and acknowledging the things that you appreciate yeah yeah challenging so my invitation to you is to continue doing that and if you want to put your brave pants on ask other people so just ask what do you think is nice about me what do you like about me and when they share that with you Breathe it in. Accept it. Press pause and just, you know, ignore the knee-jerk reaction to go, oh, no, I'm not that. And write it down in the middle of your gingerbread man so you can remember it. Because when our lights go off and we're having a tough day, it's actually quite nice to have done something like this that we can look at. Mm-hmm. And we can go, oh, I might have messed up there, but actually I've got a lot going on. I am a good person inside and there's all of these wonderful things around me that are supporting me. So you might want to make your picture prettier with coloured pens or something. Um, you might want to ditch the picture and just write it as a letter form. <laughs> it doesn't matter how you do it. What matters is that you do it. Mm-hmm. And the more often we do it, then the more resourceful we're going to be, which means we've got more energy and more presence to become the person we want to become and do all the things we want to do. Mm-hmm. So that is the power of appreciation. So to wrap up and end, because I appreciate we're kind of up at the hour just now, there's another appreciation kind of habit that is my personal favorite i absolutely love it and it's called an appreciation rampage now an appreciation rampage 
you could you could call it verbal diarrhea if you want to, which is not a very pleasant one. But it's just when you you vomit all the words out about the the world and you that you really really appreciate. So I'm going to write it in the the chat box, but if you want to click there, so your sentences can begin. Um, so I am grateful for, I love, um, my life is better with, my life is easier with, and simply I appreciate. So just as we wrap up, and a, a rampage is just we can do it collectively and that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to just randomly go. So we're all just going to, I'll say something I really appreciate and then we'll just go around very, very quickly. So we're not going into a story about it. So I really appreciate your time tonight and showing up and over to you, Muriel. Just say one thing very, very quickly and let's move on. I appreciate, this has been precious. This has been truly precious. Thank you. I appreciate the privilege of being here. Really, I really do appreciate it. And my life should get easier. <laughs> I've just pursued what you've said because I've really been struggling. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And more I quote about you. I appreciate my friends, my family, and all of my colleagues, volunteers, staff, all of them. I just appreciate people. Lovely. Lockie? Um, I appreciate being like able to do these Zoom meetings and catch up with people online. Super. Mm -hmm. Diane? I appreciate cats. <laughs> <laughs> yes, love it. Love it. Alistair, what about you? Oh, you're on mute. On mute. Go. <laughs> oh, I I do appreciate the tolerance of my wife. Uh, of where are we now? It's 29 years this month that we've been married, and 30 years this month that we've been together. So I think I I appreciate the tolerance of Karen. Yes. 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 <laughs> She might not say the same. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get her on. We'll get her on. So with a rampage, all you do, you can do that really quickly. You can do it out loud. So you can do it to your friends, your partner, your colleagues. And you just, I say something, you say something, and we just keep the energy going. So you mm -hmm. end up with this kind of momentum growing of all of the things that are working well and we appreciate. Equally, we can write it down. And I love writing it down. And again, that's really good mm -hmm. for when I've got days that aren't so good because I can look back mm -hmm. and go, oh, and the energy that comes from it is wonderful. So again, it's not how you do it. It's just finding a way to play with it mm -hmm. and doing it. So for me, an appreciation rampage is far more powerful than the three things I'm grateful for. It's just different ways of doing exactly the same thing mm -hmm. so find your own way and create a habit that um that feels good for you and that's all that matters what you do it so thank you guys thank you for joining thank you. Yeah. Thank you. colette before before we go can we do the the dreaded screen print of course <laughs> Right. Of course, of course. So, so every day, look your best. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. There we go. So, same time, same place mm -hmm. next week. Yes. Okay. Thank Bye, you. Lovely, lovely Thank week. You. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. See you Bye. Later. bye.